talking about this and dealing with this for some time and now that it's here I guess just a, a thought on Chris and the family are such a valued member of this organization just now that he has passed I guess we have to have a feeling about everything that made him just the life that he was you know I think being at the hospital with him a few days ago uh, you know you never want to see him like that but just to know how hard he battled and what he's done for ALS and you know his his whole goal is to one day it's not even it's just gone you know we're not talking about it and I think that's always going to be his legacy that that's what he wants and you know for me to watch him battle for five years and to see the way it went obviously we were hoping it was going to be 25 years we you know we used to sit in the office and he's like when he's going through the you know all the treatments he's like I'm, I'm feeling good the lungs were good and uh, you know unfortunately probably in the last year since Christmas he uh, you know it just it kind of turned and and um, you know here we are today but you know you try to think about all the good things and what he's done for the organization is is pretty special that's what I want to ask you maybe you touched on it but maybe there's something more personal when you sat and visited with him for the final time or maybe when you think back personally aside from the profession mm -hmm. side of it comes to mind he's an inspiration I mean all these you know what he was going through and the way he did it with you know I'd always say well you don't have to go you know but he's like I'm gonna live this life whatever time I have Connie I'm gonna do everything Super Bowls I mean the stuff he did you know and you think even to come to Penticton I'm like I knew he was a little tired I'm like you don't have to come to Penticton it's no I want to come so you know it kind of put things in perspective for me too you know we only get one life and we have to live it and live it to the fullest so and that's what he did for five years I mean when he got that diagnosis that first day six to twelve months that was a tough you know I was I'm sitting there at my kitchen table and Cohen sitting across from me you're like but from that point on never heard him complain once never heard him all the stuff he went through uh, real inspiration I mean it uh, puts always puts things in perspective and uh, I'm really gonna miss him but you know even when I, I saw him the last day I thought you know he, he looked at peace as I, as I as I left the room and you know I never want to see him like that again that's why I said so I didn't go back yesterday and because I want to think about the way he was when we were together all the time it's uh, it sucks honestly it really does he uh, such a great, uh, great person, great uh, family man, uh, you know, father of two uh, with Cohen and Willa. And um, yeah, we're definitely going to miss him around here. He's, uh, he had such a presence around him. And, uh, you know, I think I said it before when uh, if, if you need anything, if you felt like your game was lacking or, you know, if you just want to get better or if you played good, uh, you know, he would be the first one to let you know. And uh, to help you out and try to get the best out of this team, and uh, he will he will be dearly missed. That's for sure. Can you talk about those interactions you had with him over the years, whether it was you trying to improve your game or, or even just personal interactions with yeah. him? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as I said, uh, he was there if you need if you wanted help. You know, if you uh, you know if you want to see stats where you're good at, stats you need to improve, and that kind of stuff. And uh, he'll help you out right away. And uh, I know the coaches lean on him quite a bit with uh, with all the analytics part and. Uh, and then just like he was, all, he was always happy. He was, you know, he was always happy to be here. And uh, and uh, I think I said it before too. It's like you, you can't, like you have nothing to complain about in your life. You know, he went through it with uh, held uh, head held uh, high, and um, he took it on head on. And uh, you know, he fought he fought for five long years, and uh, I never heard or saw him complain once. So uh, he's gonna be missed around here, and. Uh, he was such a good person. It's great to see a guy like him going within the organization and, uh, you know, all the way up to assistant manager and assist general manager. And, uh, yeah, he's, he did a great job for us, and uh, we're really going to miss him here. Perseverance and the impact that he had. I mean, what personally, though, will you remember most about him? Yeah, well, uh, you know, I'll always remember his smile. Uh, you know, Kelsey posted some pictures. He's always smiling those pictures, and that's I'll remember his big smile and always such a happy, easygoing person. Um, but also, of course, always remember his fight. Um, you know how he took on the fight and the whole family. Um, they're all warriors, and um, you know, I'm very sad for them. But uh, they fought all till the end, and uh, yeah. But I always remember him for his big smile. I think for us, it was you know just his commitment to. His team, his team, and his family. Uh, you know, those 
the things he did for the city and you know awareness throughout the world was incredible and um, you know a lot of guys um, you know respected that a ton and he came in every day and, and never complained and just showed you know he was still he was supporting us throughout it and even though what he was going through so um, you know a lot of guys appreciate it. Any personal memories that you'll kind of keep with you or come to mind when you think about it? I think it's just the day to day um, you know I went over to his house three summers ago I guess a lot of staff some players were there and we had a barbecue with him that was a you know, special boy. I met met his family for the first time throughout that, so that resonates with me um, quite a bit. But you know, the you know the legacy will get carried on. What he did for this city and this team and, and throughout the world is impressive. What he did, and um, you know, his family being there supporting him was uh, it was awesome for everyone to be a part of for sure. We've heard so much about you know guys describing that inspiration that uh, he was to so many here, and then obviously everyone else uh, that knew his story, but. Um, you know, is it fair to say that that resonates with with everyone in this locker room? That you know, sort of you know, fight that he showed on a daily basis. Yeah, he's a he's a true hero, to be honest. What he did um, for him to come in every day too, and and support us, and and you know, he wasn't having good days, but he came in and tried to make every day a really good day, and and just being around his family and being that dad he was, it was uh, it's incredible story and he's an incredible you know human being what he did so a lot of guys you know looked up to him and and uh respected him a, a ton craig uh, we, we always talk so much about family um, <clears throat> you know when you're going through this and and how important it is but but this extended family around this organization and how much you guys need each other and 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 will continue to to use each other around here yeah i mean it's really it's it's a support of everyone uh you know, Chris touched everyone here. He's been here a long time, and you know, it's just uh, you know the hardest parts when you walk in and uh, you know you see his office, and he's usually just sitting in his sitting in there, and you grab a coffee, go sit with him. You know, those are going to be the things you miss, the the little things. And you know, I know his family's been going through so much that uh, you know we're all going to be there to support. You know, Kelsey, Cohen, and Willa. I mean, it's uh, you know obviously it's a very hard time, but together I think. It, we're going to all get through this. It, it seems like dating back to Chris, as soon as you, know, you were involved in hockey ops, Chris has been here. Uh, every time I, t I bug you about something that was going on around the team, you're like, Snowy's in on that. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you think fans, I guess, really appreciate how much of an impact he had on basically everything you guys did? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think they do because it is behind the scenes. You know, you don't want to give out any information or or say too much but you know even even doing parker bell's contract he was so excited to do parker's contract he's like you know we were joking at the pool in penticton he's like you want me to get this back one thing done like those are the way we were going so even at the very end you know i was you know he he just always wanted to do more he was always in on everything and uh, you know the one thing i loved about him was he had a different perspective you know he you know, he says, maybe I get too emotional and, and fall in love with players. And he's like, you know, I just tell you the way I see it, Connie. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss that for sure. But he's uh, he was a special, special person. What, uh, what was the significance of knowing, you know, what Chris was up against, having Cohen with you on Wednesday? You know, I just think we were together at the hospital with Cohen and, uh, the day before and, you know, asked him, what, what, what do you want to do? He goes, can I come to work with you? So absolutely. So I mean, to have him out of that one environment and in another one, he, this is this feels good to him. You know, to be down, I think Lindholm gave him a stick. Very excited. You know, uh, and that's the thing. You know, we have. I was wanted to put some positive. Have him have some time where he wasn't thinking about it. So it was it was unbelievable. Because I said, do you want to go home? Absolutely not. I, just like his dad, I want to be here. I want to be there when you, you know, Backlund does a press conference. So it's all those things, uh, you know, so many similarities. I know he's young, but I see a lot of Chris in, in Cohen. Beyond, beyond Calgary, what do, you, what do you think Chris will be remembered for? Well, I mean, I think, first of all, it's what he's done for ALS and where he wants ALS, where to go, to be eradicated. I mean, that's always been his goal. He's hoping that nobody ever has to do what he's gone through. And, and that's his goal. But that's not just in Calgary. That's that's everywhere. I mean, and he's hoping, you know, the snowy strong, everything that people just don't forget. They just continue and continue to drive forward to try to, you know, 
to, to not ever have this happen to someone else. Can you talk about that reach? I'm sure your phone's been blowing up. Is there somebody in the hockey world, outside of the hockey world, that reached out to you or maybe the organization just to sort of let the group know that, that things are well, this situation? It, it's amazing because it's every it's every organization almost that has reached out already and they, and they keep coming, you know, and it's uh, the support. The one thing about the hockey world, we're competitive. We all want to win, but the one thing, it's a it's a close knit community, and they will have your back till the bitter end. And that's, you know, that's what I'm seeing in this. I mean, the support, and it's it's just almost so many people you you can't even, you know. But that's what he's done. He's touched so many lives, and and everybody knew. I think when they came out with what Kelsey did, and you know, her platform uh, really brought things into perspective for everybody. And it's amazing how many people it's already touched.